when the ISL uh, was mooted and uh, came along, we were asked to, uh, to help and we were asked to sort of offer advice. And that's not only a good thing to do, because we do that with football leagues around the world, we do it in all sorts of places, but it makes it even better and stronger and more meaningful if we can partner with our broadcast partner at the same time. So assuming hypothetically yeah. you change your broadcast partner, how does that affect the relationship? It, it shouldn't affect it at all. Um, remember, we firstly were our sporting competition, and therefore my first loyalties, whilst I am very loyal to my broadcast partners, are to our footballing uh, friends. Who knows who our broadcast partner will be, but our football relationship, and I'm sure uh, Sanjay understands this, will transcend our, our broadcasting relationship. As we look at the ratings um, that have come out, and you juxtapose the ISL ratings versus, let's say, the EPL ratings, even the FIFA ratings, the reach that ISL seems to have gotten is far higher. Uh, how do you explain that, really? What ISL brought together was a very high quality, I think, matches, almost international quality, very good quality pitches, good quality of players, very good quality play. And more than TV viewership, first let me talk about the attendance in stadium. More than 25,000 uh, people attend every match on an average. Mm. That is, makes it the fourth biggest league in footballing terms in the world. Right. Uh, if you look at your viewership across the world, uh, which region is you know, the highest viewership for you? The most intense viewership is probably in the smallest places. Hong Kong, Singapore, um, you know, where the percentage of people actually interested. Thailand, other places, hugely interested. But the U.S. clearly has the biggest potential in terms of if you're going after revenue. If you're going after eyeballs and viewership, then India is probably, uh, probably in terms of the, in terms of our, in terms of across the world, our, most, our biggest potential market. When does, uh, you know, your rights come up for renew your, your broadcast rights in India? Sometime in 2015, 15. it won't be the early part of the year. Um, somewhere between June and December of 2015, they'll be up for renewal again. But do you think Star would have any kind of, uh, you know, uh, an upper hand because of the fact that they've partnered with you? Yeah, I think they do have an upper hand because they are, they are, they are in the incumbent. But. Um, and this is where our relationship takes a little bit of a sort of a diversion for maybe a couple of weeks. <laughs> of clearly, it's in our interest to develop a competitive market. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.